All right, so you lost your files. Here we are. What are we going to do now? Well, I think I have a way for you to really understand this from the ground up. So let's go on a little journey so we can understand the architecture inside of Logic Pro. And I believe if you take the time to watch this video until the end, this problem will never happen to you again. My name's Eddie Gray. I am that Logic Pro guy. So happy to be here. Let's get to work. So here we can see Logic Pro on the left hand side and then I have the associated folder file. When you save a file within Logic Pro, you can save it in one of two ways. You can either save what's called a package, which I do not recommend, or you save a folder. The tick boxes underneath are all of the assets that you're going to save within that folder. If you choose a package, you then have to uncover that package. It causes more work. I'm not into it. So from here on out, let's go ahead and save only folder files. All right, and so most of our DEW sessions look something like this. Of course, the track count could be higher, but generally speaking, we have a bunch of different loops. We have software instruments, plugins, things of that nature, right? This is usually the relationship that's going on. We have a session, and then behind that session, we're saving audio files within this folder. And all of this is happening by itself, so there's no need to you know, do any additional work. And then let's say you have some kind of third party samples. Well, these are also going to be saved within your session. So let me go ahead and just delete all of this right now. So we're going to start from scratch, you and I together. Now, in order to do this, we actually have to delete the files from within. If I hit the key command F like Frank and we go into what's called the project bin or the project audio bin, these are all of the audio files that were on the session. Now you may be asking, Eddie, there's no files within the tracks area. What do you mean? Well, this is what's called non-destructive editing. If I hit command Z, these files are still here. Now some of you also may have noticed that there is a color differentiation. In other words, track number seven has the pattern format and I don't see that within the project bin. Well, of course, it's it's called the project audio bin, so it's only going to contain audio files. Same goes for MIDI. So again, let's start over. I'm going to delete everything within the tracks area and then I'm going to gut out the session itself. We can hit shift U to select all of the unused files. I believe you can also go up here, select unused, and I'm going to delete. So this is probably where you left off. You came back into a session, you tried reopening it, then Logic said, hey, where are these files? So the best thing that you're going to want to do is hit that search button when prompted, and then Logic will find the files for you. But now that we're here, let's understand why you lost them. You lost them because one of two things you either deleted them by mistake within this audio files folder on the right hand side or they were on some kind of external hard drive and you moved them so let's go over just the basic structure we're starting a song together we want to drag in a bass loop we drag it in if you look at the right hand side in the audio files folder you can see that Logic detained the file within this bin. Again, if I hit the key command F like Frank, we can see this specific loop within the project bin. If I went ahead and recorded myself, the same thing is going to happen. So this is for pre-existing audio content or content that you record yourself. Do you see the file here? Now it has a weird name. The only reason this is happening is because I haven't labeled my track yet. So let me start another audio track and we'll call this audio recording test. All right, and now that it's labeled, when I hit record, Logic will do the rest of the heavy lifting. Do you kind of see where I'm going with this? Depending on how you run your sessions and how you proceed, 
you can have excellent organizational skills and never miss a file again. Now, if we do the same thing with a MIDI region, I want you to see what happens. I'm going to remove the arm recording from the audio tracks. I'll hit record, start playing something. Okay, so nothing is contained within the audio files folder. Again, this is MIDI. The same goes for the pattern region. This data is not going to be ingested by the audio files folder. If we took a third party loop and we drag that in, let me just grab something from here. So now this is part of an external hard drive, right? If I grab this and I go back in a logic, take a look at that audio files folder, okay? All right, so there it is right there. So in this case, it's referencing not the original file path, but my session. And so when I hit Command S, this is going to reinforce that. This behavior, by the way, is dictated within your project settings. If you go into recording, you can literally tell logic where to record and send those files to. So let me go ahead and just mess around here and I'll say, hey, can you send these to my desktop instead? Or if you're somebody that wants to save space, you can have a designated external hard drive for this. But I'll just do the desktop just for the sake of fun here. And so let's go back to an audio track. Now, we already have an existing region, audio recording test region number one as you can see let's go ahead and try this again okay so it's recording this did not venture into the audio files folder but instead if we go into my desktop you can see that it is right there all right so now that you know how logic handles pre-recorded audio and recorded audio let's just start over just from the very beginning if I hit cancel here and I don't choose an action, Logic is gonna cancel out the session. Let's go ahead and create an audio track, hit the key command F, and here is the project bin. I'm gonna hit command S and this is where it all goes wrong for most people. If you're a beginner, do me a massive favor, just include all of these tick boxes within your folder session. Let's say you leave out the include Apple sound library content. If you drag in a loop, Logic is not going to know that you want to save that and there could be potential issues there. If you don't enable the audio files tick box, everything you record could potentially be lost. You wanna make sure that everything is safe within this section here so that we have our sanity in check. So I'm gonna call this session test two. We're gonna save this within the desktop and I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. So let's drag in a loop. And then as you would expect, if we go into the session itself, you can see that this is showing up within the audio files folder. If I then open up another audio track and let's go ahead and just pretend that we're recording guitar. We'll call this guitar recording now. Let me hit uh, record. Okay, so there is the first file. Let's say we wanted to get some more takes in. Let's hit record one more time. Or maybe you wanted to record another track, whatever the case may be. Logic is going to take that and it's going to embed it within the session. Okay, I'm gonna hit Command S. This is gonna create a relationship between the files and the session itself. I'll then hit option command W. Okay, let's delete these three, pre-recorded loop and the guitar recordings that we did together here. We throw that away. I'm not sure if it makes much of a difference, but my OCD is kicking in. So I'm gonna go ahead and just empty the trash there. And then let's open up this session. Let's see what happens. You're prompted, hey, 
where is the guitar recording? I've looked for it, I don't see it. Let me go ahead and hit search. It's not gonna find it, it's not gonna find it. And then now we are missing, oh, instead of three, we're missing two. Why is that? Well, if I go into the project bin, you may have remembered that when I saved my session, I said include sound library content. Do you remember that? That happened a second ago. We enabled this button here, include Apple sound library content. So while the recorded data was deleted, it could still retrieve the Apple loop library because of its architecture. And so I believe if you start to think about Logic Pro in a deeper way, if you start to study it a little bit more and you start to implement good habits, that it'll make all the difference in the world. Now, there are some instances where you can find these files. Like, let's say, I don't know, maybe you source them from somewhere else. If you double click, you could potentially locate them, but that may or may not happen. And one more thing I wanna point out that if you label your tracks in a kind of haphazard, let's say loose way, like let's say you always call guitars guitars, inevitably what's gonna happen is if you ever search for these files, um, I don't know if you remember, but there was the prompt and it asked, where, do, where should I find your files? You can hit search. If there's any other files containing the same generic name, let's say guitar region one, it's going to think that that is the source file. And so you might hit the search button and all of a sudden you're, you're hearing a guitar part from like two years ago or you know you're working on this song and 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 this song is going to be referencing you know another song and so be careful with this terrain it can get very complicated very dirty very quickly i hope this is starting to kind of unveil the universe that is logic pro i've been doing this for about 10 years i've taught logic all across the world i've consulted companies and various individuals and i am still very humbled by the many intricacies of this program if you want to learn this program well you don't want to be a poser a debutante go ahead and follow my channel because i'm going to be releasing some top notch content i'm not looking for money i'm not looking for fame i'm looking for excellence and i'm looking to help those that want to help themselves thank you so much for watching this video i will see you on the next one Take care.